Well, hello guys. So yesterday I grabbed out my RCA VR335 VCR. This one with a Samsung mechanism and it uh, had an issue. It acted weird. And uh, it's an issue that uh, uh, did not happen before. Well, I think it happened like a few times before, but uh, now it seems that, that it, uh, yeah, well, yesterday it did it like uh, almost every time I put the tape in. And uh, so what happened is the when I put the tape in, uh, the tape mechanism loaded all the way and uh, the motor kept turning and did not stop. And then the VCR would not eject uh, unless if I, if I unplugged the VCR and uh, then I could press eject. And uh, well, yeah, it did that uh, almost every time I put, I put the tape in. So it does not load correctly. And uh, the issue that it did is uh, quite similar to a problem that uh, is pretty common, I think, on the Funai uh, VCR mechanisms, like the Magnavox CMWV405 VCR, like that one that mechanism and uh, my VCR uh, has done that issue so that was uh, when I smashed it uh, in January 2016 and uh, that also had happened to me uh, before uh, on a Magnavox uh, VCR DVD combo so I think that's a common issue and uh, so uh, I will uh, put a tape in the, this VCR and uh, see if it will do the, the trouble again oh okay this time it loaded correctly Yesterday it was doing the trouble almost every time. This is what happened. And then the motor keeps turning. And if I press eject, it won't eject. So it did not eat the, the tape yesterday. And now uh, the VCR thinks that there is no tape in, so it won't eject. It's basically waiting for you to insert a tape. <coughs> so what I did is uh, I have to... Uh, Turn it up and uh, turn it back on. So I'm, I don't see what else it could be than a bad mode switch. And uh, so we're, we're going to try to clean it in this video because it must be just a dirty mode switch. I don't see what else can cause this trouble. The mode switch seems to be located just here under the loading motor, which is, a, I think, a common. Uh, it, it's a common position for the for the, the mode switch to be placed. Like uh, like this Toshiba VCR here, for example, uh, the mode switch is just behind the loading motor, which is uh, basically at the same place as this, just is facing the front of the VCR. And uh, on the, this Toshiba, I've already uh, I had another VCR with this mechanism, and I had to clean the mode switch. It's a common issue on those. And uh, there's also uh, uh, other videos on YouTube uh, of this Toshiba of uh, people having the, that mode switch problem and uh, cleaning it. 12 volts vids uh, has uh, done uh, a video on this, it has uh, happened and uh, so uh, I think that we will have to just remove screws to uh, just uh, lift, off, lift off this uh, loading motor assembly and there's wires that we will have to get out of the way and so that, uh, what, that is what I will find out uh, how to do, uh, it seems that the loading motor is only held by two screws or three there seems to be one here which is on top of a gear which is uh, quite strange and one here below there and one here and this is what, see, what seems to be holding the loading motor assembly so I believe if I if I take those off I will be able to access the mode switch so right now I unplug these connectors and uh, I, I pulled off the loading motor part and uh, it's here and uh, so this is the this here is the gear that is the the loading motor is driving, and uh, the motor assembly is here, and below it there's the mode switch, and uh, there is uh, also this this, uh, this uh, part here with a spring, and uh, this is for the brake of the VCR. So uh, when the when it's uh, rewind when it's uh, rewinding or fast or fast forwarding, and you press stop, it activates uh, the, this part here, and uh, I don't know exactly what is what this thing is moving. So I hope I hope when I put it back there, it's going to uh, still be fine. And so I think I can remove that part. Now we are, we have access to the mode switch. So uh, there's this little arrow pointing the the home position. So we will just uh, 
put the alcohol in that, clean it with alcohol. So right now I have opened the mood switch. And then we will just uh, clean this. You guys all know the procedure. Not really difficult. So I hope this is going to uh, fix the problem. So it seems that uh, it was dirty. And uh, I, I wonder how does the uh, that dirt enters there. It's like a closed area, so it's kind of weird. How does the how does the the dirt enters this, and why do some VCRs uh, uh, have the are more likely to have that problem than others, like that Toshiba was talking about, for example. So there's other VCRs that uh, have a mode switch, and uh, I've never seen that problem on it. So I don't know why. Now let's uh, try to re reassemble it, and I uh, hope that it's still going to uh, be working fine. So actually, how the how this works is uh, when it's uh, when you press stop while it's fast forwarding or rewinding, the loading motor, uh, the, the this plastic piece uh, on the loading motor shaft will uh, hit this this plastic part, and it will move this, which uh, will move the this part here. It will move it like sideways, and uh, uh, this this piece goes uh, right here on the that area of the mechanism and uh, this will engage the brakes okay so I reinstalled the loading motor here and uh, it seems that uh, it fixed the problem it seems to be perfectly working now see it's working great now So when you have a VTR that acts like that, uh, while well, cleaning the mode switch, it can do miracles, and it's not even uh, complicated to do. Well, most of the time, because uh, on some VCRs it uh, requires a uh, soldering, but uh, on most VCRs you can do it uh, easily like that. When rewinding, it does a noise, but it seems that uh, this is due to the idler. You can see the brake is uh, working uh, good now. So there was no special synchronization to do uh, with this, just putting back the loading motor here and uh, it's going to uh, be placed correctly. So I don't know what's up with this, but uh, it's not related to what I just did because uh, it was in this area. So It's perfectly working, it's just making a noise, so maybe it just lacks of a uh, lubricant somewhere, but I'm not gonna bother with that. The tape mechanism work, uh, works perfectly, so uh, that's great. So now it even seems that uh, the uh, the noise on rewind isn't uh, happening anymore. I've done it. Uh, I've done rewind a little bit, and now it's uh, it's not happening anymore. So the uh, auto stop uh, works. And you can hear it's uh, working perfectly now. After uh, doing it a little bit, the noise isn't happening anymore. So that's great. This VCR is uh, is uh, now fully working again. Pretty cool mechanism. I'm keeping this VCR.